Welcome back to The Line. Department of Interior Secretary R R Ryan excuse me, Zinke recently visited the Land of Enchantment to look at two New Mexico monuments that are under review, the Rio Grande del Norte in Taos County and the Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks in Doña Ana County. They were both established under the direction of former President Barack Obama, as you might recall. Secretary Zinke will either recommend rescinding the designations completely, maybe shrinking their size, or perhaps just leaving them as is. Now, while in our state, the secretary also went on a horseback ride with Senators Tom Udall and Martin Heinrich to explore the Sabanoso wilderness up east of Las Vegas. The senators are hoping for support of a deal that would allow access to this currently landlocked wilderness area. So, uh, Sophie, the secretary seemed to indicate, and this is tricky, you know, the secretary can say some things out here when he's with the locals, but seem to indicate there might be some okayness, if that's a word. <laughs> some okayness. Yeah. yeah I, think, I think one of the But when you get back to Washington, yeah, and that's things what, can that's change. That's what I was going to say. Know? One of the challenges yeah. is, that, is that perhaps less in this department and other departments, mm -hmm. um, what we've seen is that there are um, secretaries, et cetera, who say, here's where we want to go, mm -hmm. and then suddenly the chief executive is tweeting things that are a bit different um, and, and nice. uh, contradict those those. Uh, statements. So, so at this point, the secretary is, has said, you know, I don't think you're going to see a whole lot of change in the mm -hmm. existing monuments in New Mexico. And hey, this deal to open up this other uh, wilderness area looks pretty good. But he's going to have to go back and sell that to his boss. And not just that one, but he's going to have to sell um, changes or not changes to um, to protected lands across the country. Right. So we're one of a number that's being and it's I can't imagine evaluated. he's going to go back and deliver to the president. You know, they're all good, dude. Let's just leave <laughs> don't, them don't touch them. Just leave, yeah, just leave I, them so it's a question of who gets it, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It would be the ex secretary at that point. <laughs> exactly, exactly right. But Dan, you know, uh, uh, Steve Pierce is on the side of where the president is at. And he's certainly got his supporters that say, look, you know, there's a number of issues here access, uh, when it comes to homeland security, for firefighting, for wilderness firefighting. There's a lot of you know, plausible reasons to open up these areas to other things, let alone oil and gas exploration, all that kind of stuff. Where do you come down on this? Is there room for wiggle room here in your mind? Oh, yeah. We, okay. I, think, I think that, you know, we've got to find <clears throat> ways to keep some of these lands protected, but we can't afford to do that by locking them up and saying, you know, you can only go in, in a backpack. Um, there's got to be opportunities to, for, for development of some of this lands, for utilizing the resources. Mm -hmm. If it's done in a smart way, I mean, clearly it doesn't do us any good to go in and have a, you know, a three mile island looking place in the middle of one of these places. But, Ouch. you know, what we can have is we can have good roads that are built by some of these folks that allow them to get to certain areas. You know, we've seen that they can, uh, uh, you know, regrow the vegetation once they go in and do this stuff. So I think we have to look for multi-uses of this land. I think to me... Is that balance doable in your mind? I think it is. I mean, no, I think it is. Be satisfied? No, of course not. Situations? Nobody can ever be satisfied. You and I know guess that, the Gene. question is too: Is there money for that? Right. It well, sound like very I, but I think is. I think there's money if you go out to some of these businesses and say, "Okay, look, we're looking to do this. We're going to give you the right Chevron to go in and drill for oil and gas. But here's the stuff you have to pay for that needs to be done overarching." I don't think there'll be people that'll be happy with that. But I think even with all of this stuff, to me, what I find more interesting mm -hmm. is the lone Republican congressman from Southern New Mexico is nowhere in the tweets, nowhere in the pictures. You know, I mean, it's just, it seems that the Secretary of the Interior under Donald Trump is buddies with Senator Udall and Senator Heinrich right. and just kind of flew over southern New Mexico in a helicopter, didn't meet with anybody, didn't do right. any of this stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're the lone Republican. Look, I could tell you right now, if I was the lone Republican, mm -hmm. I could tell you whether I supported Donald Trump or not, I'd be good friends with the people that are working for him. Right. I would make sure that I was in those photo ops, especially if you're talking about running for governor in New Mexico. I mean, your party's in charge in Washington, and you're talking about being able to bring stroke to the state of New Mexico, and yet the interior, Secretary of Interior, who, by the way, is a former congressman, That's right. right, comes to the state and kind of shuns you and is you know, wrestling with the two senatorial, you know, two Literally Democrat right. senators. <laughs> I, I think you got to at some point look at this and go, you know, I mean, where is this going to fall? I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable if I was in southern New Mexico, southeastern New Mexico, southern New Mexico, where I used to live, if I was a, with those people down there relying on Steve Pierce to get my message to Congress. It seems to me that the people that got, you know, a seat at the table are Heinrich and Udall, and they seem more focused on northern New Mexico. Right. So I, I, I think I think it's an interesting turn of events as this Good is going there. on. Dan, uh, Dan Boyd, the secretary also avoided a public meeting in Las Cruces uh, for folks that were in opposition of this. 
It's a kind of an interesting little tactic there. It, you'd think he could have spent just a couple of minutes just to hear what the opposition had to say, you know? Right, I know there's mm -hmm. a huge group of, of locals down there mm -hmm. who did hold a meeting, he, and I think invited him, he didn't show. Mm -hmm. I think he did meet with some legislators or a few right. folks the following day. Uh, you know, one thing I think, you know, worth noting here, it does seem like the majority of feedback he got, and I think he even said this, was in support of keeping the monuments in New Mexico intact. And that's right. I think that's different than, uh, you know, Utah, for instance, where there's, where there's been some broader local opposition to the, the monument right. there, the Bears Ears one. Um, um, to Sophie's point, I don't know how much that'll factor into the final decision, mm -hmm. but I do think, you know, that hearing that feedback while he was here, it seemed like most of the feedback he got was, uh, you know, against it. He didn't even go to the, the one up in, uh, in Taos, uh, right. which I thought was interesting that he'd go to the other wilderness area, but not the yeah. National Monument. It is interesting, isn't it? Stephen, there's a good point there, isn't there, that, you know, the Secretary, uh, if he's hearing that locals just want these things to stay as they are, that has to have some impact, you would think, as opposed to what Dan's mentioning in Utah, the places there's pretty strong opposition to, to, to these monuments. Yeah, you, you sort of have to go back to the origin of the whole, what's the idea behind all this? And it's the Bundys, if you'll remember mm -hmm. back a few years ago, there was a standoff at the Bundy Ranch. They were grazing cattle on federal land. They refused yeah. to pay the grazing fees. The, the feds, the BLM, grabbed the cattle, and then there was this armed standoff. Mm -hmm. And this became really big news on, on Fox right. and Sean Hannity, who's right. a friend of our president. And the whole idea was there was a big land grab. Mm -hmm. Now, to your point, mm -hmm. that's not how we view it here in New Mexico. We don't view it as a land grab. That's right. Uh, the people, the people in the Las Cruces area, and, and certainly the mayor, the legislators, uh, the I guess polling shows 60 percent of support. So there, we don't. It's not viewed as a land grab. And by the way, in order to be a, a national monument, mm -hmm. it has to be federal land to begin with. That's right. So it can't be a land grab. That's right. So I, I think, it looks like. I think Sophie sort of analyzes it correctly. Mm -hmm. I think we're probably in pretty good shape, but then you might have thought that about um, uh, the, uh, uh, what was it called? How about the DACA and the Dream? Yeah, the DACA, you might have thought of that about DACA, right. you might have thought about, about the immigrants coming sure. in, sure. and then all of a sudden you get this ideological decision that has nothing to do with the actual nature right. of what That's was right. presented. You know, and Sophie, so you don't know. I, the case I believe has been made that economically for these areas, you know, for tourism, this is our thing. This is what we do, this is how we hang our hat. It's not as if we have all these other industries that can mm -hmm. make up the slack. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, in these areas. It has to mean something, you would think. Even and, in the, this and in the relatively short time, for instance, since the, the Oregon Mountains were, were designated, mm -hmm. um, business has sprung up around the idea that you can get into that area, go climbing, that's go right. hiking, go hunting. Hunting. Um, and I think that's that right. that's been one of the, it continues to be one, for me, one of the most interesting features of these kinds of discussions is that you often will have environmentalists and hunters coming together and saying, listen, we have different right. reasons right. for wanting this land to be preserved, but we both want it preserved. Right, exactly right. And the word wolf did not come up. Huh? That would have yeah. thrown everything into a tizzy, that's for sure. Now, when we come back, we'll talk about a new security camera initiative aimed at fighting crime here in Albuquerque.